Beaver County this morning as a veteran injured fighting for freedom in Afghanistan returned home to Beaver Falls. This morning, the fireman at his old station prepared a special breakfast to welcome him home. Megan Schiller has the story. Not only is today not about me, every day isn't about me in my opinion. You know, to me it's all about the guys that haven't had the chance to come home. He didn't want the attention, but a fire truck stood on every bridge from the airport to Chippewa to usher home Staff Sergeant Luke Scholey. Waves, handshakes, and hugs for the Beaver Falls firefighter and Green Beret, injured while fighting for freedom. There's been a lot of people reaching out over social media following the story. The smell of bacon wafts through the station, a welcome home breakfast feast, just like the old days. Some of the guys, Captain Crawford, Captain Hamilton, set up uh, basically a, a big reception for him to come back to here when he got back into town from Florida, uh, where he was doing his rehab at. Fireman buddies like Bill Cummings remember the day well, January 18th, the day he received a text. Shuley had breached a booby-trapped building in Afghanistan. The IEDs exploded and pinned him in the rubble. Staff Sergeant Shuley might walk with a cane right now, but his fellow firefighters say they don't put anything past him and they fully expect he'll be back in one of these suits sometime soon. It's not out of the realm of possibility. I mean, just got, you know, you look through life a little uh, you look at life through a different lens. Shuley will work to overcome his fractured pelvis, the paralysis in his hand, and the brain injury, but he won't live life with regret. You can't live life that way. I'm not going to live life any more exciting or I'm not going to, I don't want to change anything that I'm doing in my life now because this happened to me. It's not about me. It's not about our active duty guys. It's about the guys that have paid the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. In Beaver Falls, Megan Schiller, KDKA TV News.